Hi, I'm Dawn. I just wanted to come on and um, share something with you today, just a little bit different. Um, this weekend, as, as the rest of the world was, I was extremely saddened to learn of the death of Chadwick Bozeman. As you know, um, I'm a cancer survivor, so anytime I hear of someone uh, struggling or, or, or dying from cancer, it, it just really kind of hits me. And um, evidently, Mr. Bozeman was going through treatments, chemotherapy, surgeries, all during the time that he was filming movies and working. And no one knew that except for his immediate family. So he didn't share that with everyone. And, and he was an extremely uh, private person, from what I'm understanding. And um, I just wanted to come on and share something just because he touched my life in a very profound and unexpected way. During the time that I was going through chemo um, and, and my surgery for cancer, I didn't often feel like getting out and, and doing much. And, and one evening my husband said, you know, I think it'd do you a world of good to get out and go do something. So let's, you know, let's go to a movie. And, and we made the decision to go see Black Panther. Now, I will tell you that I love all of the Marvel movies. My sons and I and my husband, we've gone to see almost every one of them, and I look forward so much to each one. But because I'd been feeling so crummy, I just wasn't sure that I'd make it to see this one in theaters. So anyway, we went to the theater to watch Black Panther, and I was immediately, of course, amazed at the beautiful scenery in that movie. It was just, it's gorgeous. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, please take time to do so. And if you have seen it yet, take time to watch it again. Um, I don't know if you remember, but um, T'Challa, who was uh, Chadwick's character, was the king of Wakanda. And he had with him his female warriors. And did you notice that those female warriors were bald? I can remember seeing them and feeling so uplifted and encouraged because they looked like me. That particular evening, I had my bald head covered with a scarf because it was a little chilly outside. But I could look in my mirror and see the same thing that I saw on that screen, that shiny bald head. But from then on, when I looked in the mirror at myself, I didn't see a bald head anymore. I saw a warrior. I saw someone that was in a battle, someone that could fight so hard, and someone that was going to beat cancer. I loved the scene in the movie where his he and his his warrior go um to an event and she's dressed up and she has a wig on and is not at all happy with this wig and i won't spoil it any further than to say but did you know that a wig can be used as a weapon again i just loved this movie i am so deeply grieved at the loss of this young man at such a young age and I feel for his family. I, I can't imagine uh, what they are going through. They'll miss him. But from what I've been reading, he's a Christian man. So I know that the king of Wakanda is up in heaven, walking around the streets of gold with the king of kings. <laughs>